Uh, hey everyone, um, welcome to XAMP 2023 February USACO solution discussion. Uh, this session is for uh, CRO level. Uh, today, uh, I will give you a quick introduction about XCAMP. Uh, my name is Charlie. I'm the co-founder and the principal of XCAMP Academy. Uh, then, um, Albert, uh, he will give you uh, the tutorial, the solution sessions. Uh, later, I will give you the class introduction and how to help you to prepare next uh, your cycle. Uh, XCAMP uh, was founded in Silicon Valley six years ago by me and my Google colleague, Yuan. Uh, we provide uh, beginner to master level classes. Uh, our curriculum are developed by a seasonal coaches, including IOI medalists, USACO veterans, and uh, other medalists too. Uh, we have a proven record. Uh, we have a solid knowledge about the data structure and the algorithm. I have four USACO campus last year. Uh, also in the December session, we have two students get into the top 10 in the platinum division. Uh, you know, we provide uh, beginner lessons to help kids love coding. Uh, then we provide the algorithm and data structure to build foundations for you guys to have a complete knowledge. Uh, then later on, if you like uh, competitions, some of you, uh, you can continue this direction. Uh, also, some of you might go to uh, academia or industry to be engineers. Uh, yeah, and now I, for this session, we have Albert. Uh, he's our previous uh, XCAM students. Uh, he's also our current server level instructor. Uh, he's in UC Berkeley uh, for his uh, EECS major study. Uh, now, Albert, I'm turning to you now. All right, let me pull this up. Okay, so first problem is about like a bakery or something. So the question basically says, uh, we got, I think it was N, yeah, yeah, N orders. And then of which of, the, uh, of those, each one has AI cookies and uh, BI muffins. And then it takes T, C time to cook a cookie. and then TM time to cook a muffin. So, all right, so how are we going to end up doing this? So for a cookie, we would have, uh, wait, hold on. Okay, here we go. Uh, so we want to, so if we spend one money uh, and then we, we would either decrease TC or TM by one, right? And then we want to find the least amount of money such that, uh, all orders are satisfied, given that uh, each order will wait, C, must be completed in time, CI. So how do we go at this? So first of all, like our initial intuition is to binary search on X, because well, if the total money spent, if we cannot satisfy this relation with X dollars, then there is obviously no way to satisfy it with X minus one dollars. So yes, obvi so obviously we would prop like this makes us think about binary search on X. But it's really unclear at this stage how we are going to, given X being the amount of money that we spend. So binary searching on X seems like an initial reaction, but since we have both cookies and muffins to deal with, we, we're not really sure 
how to use binary search here. Or especially the question is, how are we going to split between cookies and muffins? And the first thing that we would want to do is basically just see like what are our possibilities here? So we would initially want to just go over, this would be like, this would be way too slow because TC and TM are both less than like 10 to the ninth or something. But let's just first assume that we have like zero, uh, zero, um, zero cookies and M muffins or something. Um, time one for cookies and time TM for and like TM for muffins. Then all that we can do is like at this stage, if we increase the number of cookies, then uh, if we increase number of time for cookies, Well, we can then decrease the number of time for muffins. So we sort of have like, our graph essentially looks like we have like two extremes, one where we spend everything on cookies and one where we spend everything on muffins. Then in this case, uh, any like case where we can't really satisfy, where the muffins are like the bottleneck will end up not working and any cases where so let's say that we have like a graph of like the amount of time that goes like this where the y-axis is like the amount that's amount of like unfulfilled requests So then if we spend everything on cookies, everything with regards to muffins will stay the same. So if muffins are our bottleneck, then we are not going to be able to like uh, really do anything to fix the muffins. Uh, and similarly, we can say that argue the same for muffins on the other side and cookies being the bottleneck. There is like some point where like in increasing the amount of cookies, uh, amount of time for cookies is going to start harming the the orders with muffins as a bottleneck and vice versa so initially for cases where like muffins are the bottleneck we would want to like we would want to like increase the number of cookies and decrease the number of muffins and if cookies are the bottleneck we would want to increase the time for muffins and decrease the time for cookies and then, so it's sort of like a compromise between these two ends where some people want cookies to be made faster and some people want muffins to be made faster. So we can essentially look at, so we can first, there are two ways to go forward here. So the first way is to use a ternary search because, well, I mean, I'm not really going to, go too much in depth on ternary search, except because I, I don't think many people really know what ternary search is, uh, but you can search it up and it works in cases where like the answer is sort of unimodal. Like in this case, we have like a bunch of cases where it doesn't work on the C end and then a bunch of cases where it works and then a bunch of cases where it doesn't work on the M end over here. So we can sort of use ternary search to find this. Uh, this is pretty much as in depth as I'm going to go for this solution. The better solution, or like the more the solution that requires less like advanced algorithms, is just binary searching twice over the amount of money you need to remove. Or binary searching twice over the amount of money you need to satisfy uh, to reduce TC to something that satisfies all clients with time AI greater than BI. So. Minor research over the amount of money needed 
to reduce uh, TC to satisfy everything with AI greater than or equal to BI, because in this case, we see that the cookies are the bottleneck. And then after this, we can binary search over the amount of money needed to uh, reduce TM to satisfy everything else. So like everything with uh, AI less than BI, because in this case, we see that the muffins are the bottleneck. So let's say that this binary search gives us an output of C, and then this binary search gives us an output of M. So then we basically need to check if C plus M in this case is less than or equal to X. And if this is true, then we can basically set like an upper bound on X. And if it's false, then we can set a lower bound. Uh, any questions on this one? Uh, uh, any questions on this one or are we, oh wait, there, there are questions. Okay, so this is a binary search inside of a binary search, yes. No idea why. The Ryan guy said no. I think that I think that's incorrect because you basically just think about it like you do like oh no, it's not two different ones. It's yeah, it's a nested binary search. So you have like one big binary search over X, um, and then inside that you have one for uh, C and then one for M, basically. Yes, the Ryan guy. <laughs> 